Welcome to this video. In this video, I would like to show you how you can define your own user parameter. So this is quite useful. For example, if we open up the transaction SU3, and then within the top parameters there you have basically the possibility to maintain parameters so default values that you can use in order to pre-fill values so for example there is one parameter to pre-fill the company code it's buk and for example if i open up the transaction code myro then here right now we can't see that the the parameter buk um, has been added or is maintained properly but if i for example open up the myro then first of all i have to open up the company code i could do this right now but for example if i open up the su3 once again and in the parameter i can of course use the for help here right now but enter buk and then the value for example 10 10 hit the enter key and then i have maintained the parameter buk so for the standard company code i click on the save to save my user parameters and then for example if i open up the myro once again to enter incoming invoices then you can see that right now i don't have to enter the company code because it will be automatically pre-filled and you have a lot of more advantages um, regarding user parameters i can highly recommend to use them and if you for example would like to um, investigate further then once again in the su3 on the parameters you could use the uh, for help to basically look them up quite quickly or what you can also do is you can open up the se16n so the data browser and then here right now you can open up the table t para hit the enter key and then here we can see that within the t para there basically it's kind of like a directory of the memory ids so here all the existing parameters that can be used are stored and within the table t para t the texts are stored so for example if you just would like to um, look up a parameter based on the description then you have to use t power t and if you just would like to use um, and search for existing parameters then you can use the t para if i execute this then basically here you will also see all the parameters that can be used within the su3 and what is also kind of like useful is the table usr05 because right now here you can see all the parameters maintained for one specific sap user for and for example if you would like to get to know what kind of sap user has maintained the parameters um, then you can look them up and basically i see okay um, he or she is using one specific default way i would like to copy it then this is the table you will get the needed information and basically to yeah to to create an own parameter id this is kind of like really easy there are basically two possibilities so first of all you can open up the sm30 transaction and here right now you have to enter the table t para because here right now we have to maintain over parameters and then you have to click on the maintain button here you have to confirm this information information message that this table is cross client so this is perfectly fine and here right now you can basically type in your name of the parameter that you would like to create for example set test in my case and um, then hit the enter key then this pop-up will open up where you can basically enter a short description so for example just test and then click on save and here right now you can assign it to a package and in my case i would just like to assign it to dollar tmp so to my local package and therefore i click on the local object button and now basically it is successfully saved and you can use it within the su3 but before showing you this 
I would like to show you the other possibilities. You can open up the SE80, so the object navigator. And within here, first of all, I just would like to open up my local objects to show you this. And you can right click on your package and then you choose create and then other one. And then here you have set get parameter ID. This is what you click. And within here you have the same pop-up that we saw earlier. So within here you can type in set test2 for example, just test2, this is perfectly fine. And then I click on the save button and now we can see our two created parameters. And to make sure that they are there, first of all, we can open up the SU3, um, the parameters, and then here within the F4 help, basically, if I search for set test with an asterisk, then we can see that those two parameters are there. And if I take one over, for example, with the value X, that's perfectly fine, then we can use it within our ABAP program. So, and here right now I have opened up the ABAP editor, so the SE38 transaction. And basically what we have to do is, first of all, you have to define your parameter ID that you would like to use later on, or that you would like to use the value from. And therefore I'm just using a constant of this parameter ID of this type where it's basically saved and with get parameter id so with this statement you basically select and you get the parameter id or to be specific to get the value of the parameter id with using field because that is basically what we need to or we, what we want to um, so therefore I'm using inline declaration and I'm saving it to um, basically this variable and then within the write statement I am basically output it and if I use um, the test f8 then we can see that now the x is basically print out and for example if I would like to change this so for example let's move it to uh, erp up whatever <laughs> Now I have changed this and go one step back and now execute this once again. Then we can see that the value is being selected and is being shown properly. And I've made also an own video about default values in SAP Fiori. I will link you this. Unfortunately, um, within SAP Fiori, you don't have any possibility to add custom default values. You have to use the existing one, but you can also create parameters and uh, use them in SAP Fiori if you want to. Um, but of course, you have to create a custom SAP Fiori app to, to, to be able to do this. And yeah, basically um please uh, like this video please subscribe this youtube channel to support my work and to never miss great upcoming videos and if you have any questions left please put them in the comment section thank you so much and see you in the next video